You won't believe what happened after a crew of divers freed a whale caught in a fishing net. A 40-foot, 12-meter-long humpback whale was observed in Mallorca because whale sightings along the coast of Spain's Balearic Islands are not all that common. The unfortunate whale was unable to free itself after becoming entangled in a drift net. A passing boat first took note of the animal and deployed divers from Palma de Mallorca's aquarium to attempt to free it. However, the Marine Rescue Center was not successful, and to their dismay, the whale appeared to weaken from its constraints. Humpback whales are luckily easy to spot given their massive size, which is roughly equivalent to that of a school bus. Humpback whales migrate through the oceans depending on the time of year. What distinguishes them from other whales is their curious nature, their huge pectoral fins, dark backs and light bellies, and most notably, the hump in front of their dorsal fins, their namesake. Given these characteristics, the Palma de Mallorca's aquarium was able to quickly identify the animal as a humpback whale and understand the pressing danger it was in. Since commercial whaling was banned back in the 80s, the biggest threat to the lives of whales is collisions with boats and, you guessed it, getting tangled up in fishing equipment like nets. The whale's life was in danger and people had to act fast to rescue it. If this marine center could not save the whale, was there anyone that could? Well, the occupants of the boat reported back to Mallorca, the nearest of Spain's Balearic Islands, to communicate the dire situation and request aid. Luckily, two diving centers promptly responded to the call. Approximately three miles or five kilometers off the coast, divers from the Squalo and Albatross diving centers swiftly caught up with the boat. The team determined after evaluating the scenario that they would need to send in four skilled divers equipped with handheld knives to manually cut the net off the whale. Additionally, this wasn't just any old fishing net. The whale was caught in an unauthorized drift net. The United Nations actually outlawed drift nets decades ago due to the harm they do to marine life. These giant nets are designed to collect vast arrays of fish and aquatic life, rather than targeting a specific animal. Not only does this greatly impact the local ecosystem, but it also produces a lot of waste since organisms trapped in the net were often disposed of if they could not be eaten or sold by the fishermen. Because of the disruptions to the biosphere and the unnecessary killing of large amounts of marine life, drift nets are now illegal. Unfortunately for this humpback whale, some fishers still use the illegal nets anyways. In this case, the dangerous red net was wrapped around almost the whale's whole body. This restricted the whale's mobility and made it very difficult for it to swim properly. To make matters worse, the net had also wrapped the whale's mouth shut. The whale was in a very bad situation, and its health was declining fast. Wasting no time, the four divers jumped in the water and got to work right away. The divers knew they had to work fast and efficiently, but carefully, so as not to upset the whale any more than it already was. It was an unpredictable scene, as it was a wild animal after all. The rescue mission could go both ways, still. The dedicated experts were determined to try their hardest to free the animal from its suffering. Gigi Torres, a 32-year-old marine biologist, was one of these incredible divers. Gigi owns and operates the Albatross Diving Center in Spain and has worked extensively with marine life in the past. Even with all that prior experience, there was still something very unique and special about this encounter. Gigi described the experience interacting with the whale with wonder and appreciation. It's not every day you get to interact with a huge humpback whale after all. As the divers dove into the sea and swam near the chained and helpless whale, things got tense. Gigi studied the whale's body language and concluded that it was showing some apprehension at the diver's approach. According to Gigi, the whale appeared to become uneasy as their swimming caused a bubble to be churned up. The divers, however, maintained their composure and coordination while showing that they wanted to aid the unfortunate animal and ideally calm it down. The divers started at the whale's head, first cutting the net carefully to free its mouth, and then working their way down its body. The rescue mission was extremely well coordinated, even though the divers reported barely having to discuss a plan of action together. It was as if they all knew what parts to play and how to best go about saving the humpback whale. The divers surrounded the whale so as to cut the net from all angles and avoid any snagging or unnecessary strain on the already injured whale. They had to be careful with their knives, not wanting to cause the whale any more pain or distress. Just imagine the nerve-wracking scene here, or better yet, watch the footage. 
poor divers, looking so small next to a distressed giant whale in a vast body of water, and not to mention the other potential dangers of other sea animals lurking around, it is a huge credit to their teamwork and masterful aquatic knowledge that they could get to work so quickly. And let's not forget the divers' bravery. They were the right people for the job. In what seemed like no time, the experts had completed the first part of their daunting task. The whale's mouth was free. That must have been quite a relief for the whale. What happened next was absolutely magical. Gigi said that as they worked at cutting the net, the whale seemed to understand that they were there to help. It was not like he could move, but he could have made the diver's job more difficult by thrashing around out of fear. But actually, he surprisingly did just the opposite. The whale actually started working together with the divers. The humpback whale relaxed and remained still so they could work even faster. Understanding the whale's body language, the divers diligently cut away at the net while safely avoiding the whale's flesh. In less than an hour, just 45 minutes, the net that had been covering the whale's entire body was gone. They worked from head to tail so that the whale could simply swim out of the net at the end of the process. According to Gigi, at the end, the whale gave a little wiggle to cast off the restraints of the net on its tail. Finally, the whale was free again, free to move again, free to swim again. To everyone's surprise, the whale was not released and immediately swam away. It lingered around the divers for a short while, perhaps to gather some vigor. Gigi said the experience of swimming with the humpback whale was simply amazing and seemed, quote, extraterrestrial. Uncertain of whether the whale was sticking around because it required additional assistance, the divers stayed in the water with it. Over the passing minutes, though, the whale became stronger and was able to gently swim around with the divers. It was only the third time a humpback whale has ever been seen in this area, so it was a very special moment indeed. Gigi's day in particular was a special one. It was also her birthday. Gigi saved the life of this beautiful mammal and even got to swim around and interact with it on her birthday. She executed an amazing underwater rescue with her marine-loving peers. To top things off, the whale made this day even more incredible for Gigi. Prepare for your heart to melt at the whale's response to being freed by these courageous divers. The whale eventually gained enough strength to confidently leave the protective circle with the divers. They expected it to just swim away, like most other animals would have done. But this whale had made friends with the divers. It couldn't just leave without saying goodbye. In what the divers all agreed was a deliberate gesture, the whale gave a thank you sign before swimming away. This beautiful moment of gratitude and mutual appreciation is the reason why Gigi says this was her best birthday present ever. Reciprocal compassion is always so great to watch, but it is more magical when it occurs between two quite different animal species. Would you have dove into the water to rescue the life of such a lovely creature? Comment below and tell us what you would have done if you were in Gigi's shoes. For even more amazing stories, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button.